You gotta get rid of some old addictions. Hey! You gotta get rid of some old things that you used to do. Stuff that you're holding on to. Am I right about it? But when I thought about the serpent on a brass pole that Moses gave instructions for the people to look and live when they were bitten by a poisonous serpent, I couldn't help but to think about Jesus. Hey! Hey! Those of us who were bitten by habits, those of us who were bitten by addiction, we can now look to Jesus. Tell somebody, look to live. Look and live. When I think about what the Lord has done for us, he gave us Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, dead, and buried. But on the third day, he got up with all power in his hands. If you want to make a change, call Jesus. Call Jesus. Don't let tradition stop you. Hey! Don't let bad habits stop you. Hey! Don't let the deacon stop you. Hey! Don't let the pastor stop you. But cry out and say, Lord, I'm ready to make a change. It was amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Tell somebody, it's time to make a change. It's time to make a change. It's time to make a change. Time to change my personal life. Time to change in the church. Time to change in the nation. Time to change in our community. We ought to stand up as born again believers. Let your light so shine before men that they might see our good works and glorify the Father in heaven. Tell somebody I don't know about you, but it's time to make a change. I'm glad I made a change. I'm glad I made a change. The things I used to do, I don't want to do it no more. The places I used to go, I don't want to go there no more. It's time. It's time. 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 It's near. Time. It's near. Time to make a change. Time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth, but move can stand. But build your hopes on faith. Eternal, hold on, hold on, the gods are changing hands. I'm so glad that I made a change. I heard the voice of Jesus telling me to make a change. I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I made a change. Are you glad that you made a change? Shout yes, shout yes, shout yes. Now when you change, I want to remind you that the old enemy, the adversary, will be on your back. But you got to be able to stand strong, be courageous, put your chest out, throw your head back, and tell the enemy, I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard the thunder roll. I felt the power of the enemy crying to come for my soul. But I heard the voice of Jesus telling me to fight on. He promised, promised, he promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. Say yes, say yes, say I'm glad I made a change. Let me tell you about who changed me. Jesus, he walks with me, he talks with me, he tells me I am his own. If our nation want to change, they got to grab hold of Jesus. If you want to change in your personal life, you got to grab hold of Jesus. If our church is going to change, we got to make Jesus the head and not the tail. We got to stand on the foundation of 
of Jesus Christ. Now there's one last thing I want to introduce to you out of the text. The Bible says, because Hezekiah had the guts to make a change. He had the courage to make a change. God blessed him. The Bible says he prospered wherever he went. Tell somebody when you change, God will prosper you. When you're after God's heart, God will prosper you. When you make a change for the better, God will keep you lifted up. When you make a change for the better, he'll supply all of your needs. How many witnesses I have today to say, my God, he never lost me. Jesus, get to know him for yourself. The time is winding up. It's getting late in the evening, and the sun is almost down. Make a change, make a change, make a change, make a change. There's hope, there's joy, there's forgiveness. Hey, in Jesus Christ, bless the Lord, bless his name. Hey. Somebody today who may 
want to know the Lord personally as their Lord and Savior. You can come and spread out in front here where I'm standing, this porch, these steps. We just want to pray with you. If you're watching on Facebook and you're in a dark place today, it's time for a change. Anybody today? God will meet you where you are. Pray with me if you want to invite Christ into your life. Say, Lord, I recognize that the time has come to change for the better. I believe that you, Almighty God, raised up Jesus from the dead. I believe that my sins are forgiven because of the payment that he paid through his death on the cross. And now, God, as Christ was resurrected, raise me up spiritually in your power. Make the change known. Make the change in such a way that it can be seen in my life. Lord, I thank you for salvation. In Jesus' name. If you've prayed this prayer with me, I want you to walk in the newness of life and just know that God is going to walk with you. You can tap me on the shoulder or talk to me in the parking lot and let me know that you've made a change. You've made a change. You've made a change. You've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And then lastly, I want to offer up a prayer for all of us who are gathered here today, those who are on Facebook, who need strength. Or maybe you just want to tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for what he's done. Pray with me. Our Father, Lord, we thank you for meeting our every need. God, even the needs that we bring here today, whether it be from emotional scars or physical scars or spiritual weakness, we ask God that you meet us where we are. We know that you're a need meeting God. God, we ask that you touch broken areas. We ask God, touch us in places where we are discouraged. Give us strength, God. In the name of Jesus. Then Heavenly Father, for those who are grieving today, heartbroken, don't know where to turn, let them hear Jesus as the answer. For he is the answer today. Let them wait on the Lord and be of good courage to have their heart strengthened. Let them declare like Isaiah say, they that wait Oh, the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Help us, God, not to faint, not to give up. Restore us, God. Restore the joy of our salvation. Oh, God, we thank you. Bless this ministry, God. We, we give it to you in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we thank you for meeting us at this hollow ground today. To encourage our hearts through your word. And Lord, we thank you. And Lord, we would be remiss if we didn't say, Lord, we are grateful for salvation. Grateful for how you brought us. Grateful for how you kept us. Grateful for how you fed us. We thank you, Lord. Now, God, strengthen our hearts to do the work that is set before us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. At this time, we're going to partake of the Lord's Supper. As the musicians continue to play. And if you need the Lord's Supper, if you would just raise your hands. We have some deacons scattered out throughout the parking lot. Most of us have received the Lord's Supper on our way in. But if you want to partake with us, you missed it for some reason coming in.
you were overlooked, don't have the Lord's Supper, just raise your hand or blow your horn. Amen. Let's consecrate now these elements. Lord, we thank you for dying on the cross. Consecrate now these elements, the bread and the cup, so that they truly remind us of what Jesus did on Calvary. As these elements remind us that we are forgiven, don't let the enemy scar us anymore. But let us open our mouths and thank God for forgiveness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift the bread up. Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. And he who eats of the living bread shall never die. Eat this bread in remembrance of Jesus. Lift up the cup that reminds us of the new covenant, a covenant of grace. For the blood that gives us strength from day to day will never lose its power. As we partake of this cup, heal us, God. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, heal us, God. Touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Thank you for our redemption. Drink now of this cup in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh sweet. Oh, Let's sing this a little bit back. Sweet heaven, heavenly God. Oh, stay. Stay right here. Right here with us. Oh, that will be given out right here, amen, at our center this coming Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., amen. Uh, those boxes are for anybody there. You don't have to show ID, cards, or anything. Just come by. Everything is drive through. Remind people to be able to have room in their trunk so, because we don't want to go into the past. We don't want to go into the vehicles, amen. That's a nice way to say it, amen. Have room in your trunk, amen. The other thing I want to remind us of uh, as we get ready for watch night service that we will have a candlelight service here right in the parking lot. We hope to have 300 candles lit for the glory of God. Amen. It's a night of prayer. So we want you to fast somewhat. Amen. And let's just go in the presence of the Lord and talk to God. Amen. God bless you and God keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. And give